हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक द क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2018 एग्जाम एंड दिस वन इज फॉर टू मार्क्स नाउ इट्स स्टेटमेंट इज वेरी लेंथी आई कैन से दैट इट इज वन ऑफ द लेंथीएस्ट क्वेश्चंस ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स बट होल्ड ऑन इट्स सॉल्यूशन इज वेरी सिंपल ओके मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम विल बी गॉन इन जस्ट रीडिंग द स्टेटमेंट सॉल्विंग इट इज जस्ट अ केक वॉक हैव अ लुक आई विल नॉट एक्चुअली रीड द एंटायर स्टेटमेंट instead now i'll display a image you can read the question if you want to anyways i'm going to explain it they are saying in a simple computer network a common shared medium is used okay that means each and every node will sense the channel before sending any data for example if p wants to send some data they are saying that p will sense this channel for five time units and in beginning of the next time unit p will start sending data so p will sense the channel for five time units and in the sixth time unit starting of the time unit p will send that data now once if any station starts sending data it will send data continuously for 20 time units and for those 20 time units it will not sense the channel that means once p has started sending data it will stop sensing it so there is a possibility that if two stations start sending data at same time so there will be a collision and it will go undetected okay this is what they are saying in question now they are talking about two stations p and q they are saying at time t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 p has already sensed the channel for five time units okay that means at this time p is ready to start transmitting it has seen that channel is empty at this time okay at the same time that means at time t is equal to 0 q is just about to sense the channel so at t is equal to 0 q will first sense the channel for five time units and then it will start sending they are asking what is the maximum distance between p and q such that collision will not occur also signal speed is given as 10 meters in every time unit they haven't mentioned what this unit is it can be a second one hour or whatever we don't care it is one time unit okay in this one unit signal will travel 10 meters okay this question is really simple you just concentrate for 2 minutes and you'll get its answer see at time t is equal to 0 p will start sending the signal because it has seen that channel was empty for 5 time units at time t is equal to 0 q will start sensing the channel and it will sense the channel for 5 time units that means till t is equal to 5 okay in beginning of the next time unit it will start sending the data now if throughout this time from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 5 if throughout this time the channel is empty q will think that entire channel is empty that means no one is sending data and q will also start sending okay and there will surely be a collision that means between this time only from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 5 the first bit of this packet the packet that was transmitted by p its first bit must reach this point okay between this time only because if this happens then q will see that someone is sending data that means the channel is busy and q will wait so q will not send the data and collision could be avoided okay now we want that starting from t is equal to 0 first bit of this packet the packet that p is trans, uh, transmitting it must reach this point within this time okay so we can have maximum of 5 time units delay for the signal to start from here and reach till here okay let us see how much distance can it travel in 5 time units so in one time unit it travels 50 sorry it travels 10 meters so in five time units it's going to travel 50 meters okay that means in this much time signal can come 50 meters from here okay so the maximum allowed distance is 50 meters okay 
So we already saw that maximum allowed distance is 50 meters. See what happens if I place this cube further away. Suppose I place it here. This is Q and now it is at 150 meters from this P. At time T is equal to 0, P will start sending the signal and Q will start sensing this channel. It will sense the channel for 5 time units continuously. Okay, It will just sense this point. Now in 5 time units, the signal will reach only 50 meters away. But this is 150 meters away. Now, after 5 time units, signal has only reached this point and Q will see that channel is continuously empty for 5 time units. Q will think that entire channel is empty and Q will also start sending data. Now, after T is equal to 5, this data is traveling in this direction and this data is already traveling in this, uh, this direction. So, there will be a collision between packets sent by P and packets sent by Q. So maximum distance can be 50 meters. Now what if I place it here, if Q is placed here, if Q is placed here, suppose it is 30 meters away from P, then P will start sending a packet at T is equal to 0 and at T is equal to 3, this packet will reach here. Okay. Now Q is continuously sensing the channel from T is equal to 0 till T is equal to 5. Actually Q will sense the channel for 5 seconds rather 5 time units and only after 3 time units it is going to see that channel is busy. Someone is already transmitting so Q will not transmit. That means collision is not possible if distance is from 0 to maximum till 50 but, we, but if we go further away then collisions will surely happen according to the given scenario. Okay.